Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you only want a macro action to run based on whether or not some other value has been set in the program. A conditional macro can accomplish this. The macro will only run when a specified condition is met. Often conditional macros are used to evaluate the specific option selected within an option group control in a form. Option group controls are special logical controls used in forms to return a number value when a specific selection is made within the option group. You can add an option group control into a form by clicking the option group button in the controls group on the design tab of the form design tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area of the form where you want the option group to be placed. If you have the use control wizards button selected, then the option group wizard will appear. You use this wizard to set the options from which the user can choose within the option group. Whatever choice is made returns a number value, the number value then being the value of the entire option group. You can then easily use the expression builder when creating a conditional macro to evaluate which option has been selected from within the option group and then set the actions of the macro accordingly. You can add conditions to macro actions by simply clicking the Conditions button that appears in the Show Hide button group on the Design tab of the Macro Tools contextual tab in the ribbon when the macro is in Design view. Doing that will display a new column within the Macro Design view pane. This is the Condition column where you can insert a condition that, if it evaluates to true when the macro is run, will cause your macro to perform the associated action. You can either type your own expression into the condition column, or you can click the Builder button in the Tools button group on the Design tab of the Macro Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to open the Expression Builder dialog box. You can then use the Expression Builder dialog box to assist you in creating your condition if necessary. Ensure that the condition that you create is placed next to the desired action within the design view. Then when the macro is activated, it will only perform the action if the specified condition is true. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.